this is Praxis, and we're back inside today, as expected. It's raining outside. It's not a good day for doing any outside insulation foam work, nor working on the roof. So we're in here as planned, and we're making a lot of progress. As you can see, there's all these channels. I've, I've mentioned them before. They're going to be these uh, subfloor tunnels where hot air from the upper levels of the house are going to get pumped in. It enters a hole in a junction box right here and starts... Uh, fanning out through all of these. Just it's pressurized from the top, pushed down, and it's going to move through all of these tunnels, which are made out of cinder blocks. You can see a cinder block vertically right there, and these are cinder blocks all just turned on their sides. So there's two tunnels passing through. So enters over there, starts moving through all these tunnels, and ultimately it's going to terminate over here at another junction box, just like this one. And there's going to be a regular floor register. I, I bought this just the other day so I could have the exact dimensions of like the bottom and how it's going to fit in. That is going to fit into a, uh, a piece of wood like this. Uh, these are the lids for each of these junction boxes uh, where the, the air kind of comes together and then continues on its way. Uh, these things have little pads on the top that kind of engage with the, uh, with the blocks to make it so that they hold everything together when we're compressing things. As you can see, River's doing some compressing right there, tamping down all the earth and getting it all nice and um, uh, solid so that when we put the concrete on, it's not going to be, uh, things aren't going to be shifting around. Uh, so the uh, uh, junction box over in the corner there is going to have the, uh, the register coming out of it. There's going to be six inches of concrete that's going to get poured on top of this whole area. That's a little bit more than normal. Usually people would go with four. I went with six because I felt that uh, it would be a little extra thermal mass. And it's uh, honestly really difficult shoveling all this gravel in here. So if we can pour in the, you know, the, the last of it, I think that'll be uh, just fine. And uh, the concrete is denser. It'll be able to hold more heat energy. So it's going to give us better thermal performance anyhow. So uh, on top of this, because there's going to be six inches of concrete over in the corner, I'm going to make a little wooden uh, assembly, like kind of like a, a, a box. Uh, that's going to sit on top of this, and the concrete will get poured up to the sides of that. And once the concrete all cures, we'll disassemble the box. I'm going to make it so it can be easily disassembled. Take out the pieces, and that'll leave, it, leave a nice little hole for this to engage right on top of the concrete. That's going over in the corner over there. So I have high hopes and high expectations for this. There is a precedent, uh, a precedent for this type of thing. It's essentially what they did uh, back in the old Roman days in the Roman baths. They would run hot air or steam through these uh, little channels in the floor, just like this. They weren't using cinder blocks because they didn't have this prefab kind of manufacturing. Uh, but it's the same kind of idea. So I'm, I've got high hopes that this is going to work really well for us to kind of get a nice warm floor uh, and make it so it's not too, too hot up in the upper levels of the house. Uh, but it's just, it's a lot of work to put it together. But it's a good day for it because we can't do anything else outside. That's it. Thanks for watching.